I am just working on a very simple canning project today for Canuary, and I'm just doing some pears in a simple syrup, and I'm doing a medium syrup, which is just organic cane sugar and water. And my simple syrup consists of six cups of sugar and eight and a half cups of water that I have bought, brought to the boil on my stove so that the sugar is completely dissolved and melted. And then I've been peeling and slicing my pears and placing them in my jars. And then I like to put a half a teaspoon of lemon juice in my jars to help with preserving the color. And my jars are gonna look a little bit differently because my cane sugar is a little bit dark. So my syrup isn't going to be crystal clear like a simple syrup normally would be. So I'm gonna finish up this last jar. So I'm just gonna grab a pear and quick peel. And I've got my compost bin here for the chickens and the pigs. So I just grab the bottom and we're gonna quick peel this up. I'm hoping it's only gonna take one or two more pears to finish up this last jar. And I probably do maybe four cases or so of just pears in simple syrup or until my simple syrup runs out. And then I might do a canner of pears in a honey-based simple syrup. And then I have a bunch of other recipes that I want to get canned up with my pears. But my canning notebook seems to have grown legs and walked away. So I'm going to have to go through my canning books again and refigure out all the recipes that I had all planned out when I had planned my pear canning. I have a general idea of what I wanted, but I don't remember all of the recipes that I had planned. And a lot of people tend to do their pears and halves, which I think looks absolutely gorgeous. But I'm trying to conserve my jars. So I'm doing smaller chunks because I think I can fit more in that way. I could be wrong though. This will be the last one. So I'm gonna quick wash off this board. So that half a teaspoon of lemon juice is going into that last jar that I just did. Normally, I don't like moving my jars once I fill them, but I don't know if you're going to be able to see if I leave them where I normally fill them. So I think what I might do is just fill these two and then put the lid on and then go ahead and then do the rest of mine. Alrighty, then I'm going to take my knife, debubble everything, and you always want your fruit to be below your liquid, otherwise it just discolors and it gets very dry and icky. So if it moves and shifts on you while you're debubbling, make sure that you readjust your fruit. And when you're dealing with a simple syrup, you want to make sure that you wipe your lid rims or your jar rims really well. Otherwise, you will not seal your jars. And you can use either water or you can use a water vinegar solution or you can even just use straight vinegar, whatever you prefer to use. 
I tend to just use boiling water. It's always worked for me. I've never had to just use vinegar. But it's whatever you prefer and whatever you feel comfortable with. I usually just use the boiling water that I've boiled my lids in. And I try to be as careful as I can when I'm filling my jars not to make a mess. Because the more messy you are, the more difficult it is to get the sticky stuff off and the more likely you are to have a failed seal. And you only want to tighten your lids finger tight and we're leaving a quarter inch headspace on here. Well, this is taking a lot more syrup than I thought it was going to. I thought I would have extras. Now I'm just hoping I've got enough to get the last two jars in. And for our quartz, we are going to process, at least for my altitude, for 10 minutes. And we're just going to go ahead and repeat until all the jars are complete. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what they look like when they come out of the jar, out of the canner, at their 10 minute mark.